I work with a lot of entrepreneurs seeking capital and putting together their financials. And the question that always comes up is, what do financials really need to contain to stand up to the scrutiny of sophisticated investors? And aside from the obvious, which is, um, you know, they need to be believable and, their need, and the assumptions need to be able to be backed up and defended, there are basically five points that I give an entrepreneur and it's almost use it like a checklist. Number one is have a complete set of financials. This includes historical and pro forma, balance sheet, income statement, and statement of cash flows. Always advise to look for it at least three years, five years if you can, but at least three. And for the first year, summarize your information on a monthly basis. And for years following that, do it on a quarterly basis, just simply because your information is looking that far out is just really not that good. Three is include historical financials as far back as you've got accurate information. And I say this because we work with a lot of companies in, in, in their early stages of development. And there may not be historical fina f financial information back very far. So go back as far as you can, but don't go back any further than you have accurate information. Because at the end of the day, accuracy trumps history. Four, make sure that your business plan and what you study in your business plan, in, 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 in your, market analysis and your, uh, your market analysis and your competitive analysis, make sure those hang together. Because if an investor picks up a business plan that says one thing and, looks, and then looks at a set of financials that says something else, you know, it's, it's just not going to make sense to them. And they're going to start to ask a lot of questions. And really and truly, the credibility of the whole plan in general is going to be called into question. The fifth one, and it's important, dot your I's and cross your T's. Make sure your balance sheet balances. Make sure your costs are properly, pro properly categorized. Make sure that the investor can take your three financial statements and do a flow through analysis and it makes sense to them. Because at the end of the day, our investors see a lot of business plans. And what you don't want to do is give, them, is give them an excuse to pass on yours. When putting together financial statements, I always recommend that if an entrepreneur has questions, to give us a call.